Here's a movie trope that drives me crazy. Blast doors that default open. You know what I'm talking about. You've got your ragtag group of adventurers. They're trying to escape a, an enemy starship or military base, and they come across this big, massive steel door that they can't get through. So our hero says, everybody stand back, and they take their blaster, and they blow up the control panel, and the doors pop open. They make their escape. Don't get me wrong, it's a badass move, and who hasn't wanted to destroy a piece of electronics that isn't doing exactly what you want it to? Looking at you, Wi-Fi router. But when you think about it, it's a pretty terrible design. Consider for a second what a blast door's purpose actually is. It is to protect the people and things on the other side of it from explosions. And it can't do that if it pops open the second it's damaged or loses power. Like, just imagine that you're fighting some sort of I don't know, Star War, and those pesky rebels blow a hole in the side of your spaceship. Well, you better hope that they didn't also damage the control panel, otherwise those doors are going to pop open and vent the rest of the spacecraft into space. Same thing with security doors or jail cell doors that pop open the second that they receive a small electrical shock or are shorted with like a bubblegum wrapper. You want your blast doors and your security doors to follow a very important principle of engineering design. You want them to fail safe. And to be clear, fail safe does not mean that they will not fail. They may be very likely to be damaged or compromised in some way. Fail safe just means that when they do fail, they fail in a state that is safe or not dangerous. Your lawnmower is a perfect example of this. So it's got that little lever that you have to hold down in order for the engine to keep running. So the second you let it go, it pops open and shuts off. So if you were to lose control of your lawnmower and it rolled down a hill, a failure, it's not going to make mincemeat out of any small animals or children that happen to be in the way. It's going to shut the engine off a safe state. Elevators have brakes that are held open by the tension from the wires holding up the elevator. So if the cable ever breaks, a failure, the brakes engage right away and stop the elevator from falling, a safe state. Airplanes are built so that they are aerodynamically stable, which means that if they lose power or control very suddenly, they don't suddenly go into a nosedive or a steep climb. There are even doors that should and do fail in the open position. Like most automatic doors in public spaces, you can still push or slide them open when the power is out. The engines don't seize up and stop the door from opening. And that's because we don't want people like stuck in a mall. You are surrounded by things that have been designed to be fail safe. It's super important and kind of obvious when you think about it. So here's what I'd like to see in a movie. Our ragtag group of adventurers come across a steel door. Our hero says, everybody stand back, blast the control panel, and then everybody yells at him. What did you do that God. for? Now we're definitely not getting through. It's a blast door. It's what not going to pop problem? open if you blast it. I can't it. believe I was going to sleep with that. Guy. Really? This is the, this oh, is the guy you're going to say about us? And then they all have to find a more amusing way around.